Hello friends, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In today's video demonstration, we are going to see the steps to create and manage differencing a virtual hard disk in Hyper-V 2016. Differencing is a concept which involves a parent disk and a child disk. The parent disk contains a baseline hard disk image with the operating system and perhaps a range of applications and data installed on it. Once this baseline parent disk is configured, a differencing disk is assigned as a child disk. When the virtual machine to which disk is assigned runs, any changes made the baseline parent image are actually stored on the child differencing disk, leaving the parent disk unaltered. Multiple child disks may be assigned to a single parent disk, allowing multiple virtual machines to share the same parent disk. Differencing disks may also be chained together. The changes contained in a differencing disk may be merged into parent disk. Alternatively, a new virtual hard disk may be created containing the merger of parent disk and the child disk, thereby leaving the parent disk unaltered. When creating a differencing disk, the parent disk will be need to specify. In this example, we have just created a new Windows 7 parent VM containing the parent VHD. To create and configure a differencing disk for this parent disk, first we have to open Hyper-V Manager console. But first of all, I'm going to open a file explorer. And on a file explorer, as you can see, already I stored one Windows 7 parent disk on our E drive. So this is the parent disk which we want to use during the creation of differencing disk. Now let's come back to our Hyper-V Manager console. And on our left side, under Action Pane, click on New and select Hard Disk. On Before You Begin screen, click on Next. Now this time, we're going to select VHD as a disk format. Click on Next. Now, this time, we're going to select Differencing Disk Type. Okay, let's click on Next. Now, we have to specify the name and location for this differencing disk. Okay, let's give name diff-vdisk3.vhdx and we want to store this virtual disk on an e-drive hyper-v vmv disk folder. Okay, let's click on next. On this console, you have to specify the location of parent virtual hard disk. Let's click on browse. On uh, e-drive hyper-v folder under vmv disk folder, this is the other parent disk. Win 7 x 64 parent disk. Select the disk and then click on next. Now let's click on finish to create new virtual disk. Okay, differencing disk has been created successfully. Now let's go back to file explorer and here we can see this is the our child disk name diff-vdisk3 and as you can see the size is only 4 MB. Now we want to create one new virtual machine by using this differencing test. Let's come back to Hyper-V Manager. Let's click on New and select Virtual Machine. On uh, Before You Begin screen, let's click on Next. Now, on this console, we have to specify the name of our Virtual Machine. I'm going to give name VM02. Let's select Store this Virtual Machine in a different location. Click on Browse. Under e -drive, select Hyper-V Folder. Select Folder and click on Next. Now I want to select generation 1 virtual machine type. Click on next. Now on this console, we are not going to change the assigned memory. We will use 1 GB. Click on next. Let's uh, select external virtual switch. Click on next. Now on this console, we have to specify the VHD which we want to connect to this virtual machine. Now for this demonstration, we are going to use existing virtual hard disk and that's why I am going to select the second box. Now we have to specify the location of that virtual disk. Click on Browse. Under E drive, under Hyper-V folder, under VM VDisk folder, this is the our virtual disk. That is a differencing virtual disk which we created based on this Windows 7 parent disk. So we want to use this differencing VHD. Click on Next and click on Finish to create a new virtual machine. 
Okay, now we have a new virtual machine named VN02, which we created based on this Windows 10 parent disk. Let's start this virtual machine. Now again, let's go back to File Explorer. And as you can see, the current size of this VHD is only 4 MP. Let's refresh. Okay, now let's come back to Hyperware Manager and uh, right click on our VM2 and click on Connect. Okay, as you can see, uh, Windows 7 has booted up successfully. Let's uh, minimize this and come back to File Explorer. Now, as you can see, the size of this differencing disk is 68 MP and still increasing. So this is the way how we can create and use differencing VHD in Hyper-V 2016. That concludes the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.